I'm actually Ariel Schur's cousin-in-law. Oh, really? She's married to my cousin. Oh, oh great. Yeah. Great, great. She seems to be doing just fantastic. Oh, she yeah. is. Cute little baby. Yeah. Okay. So what was it about Peter, Peter, Peter Morgan's play that just really struck you enough to want to make it? It, it was it was such an original piece of of of, um, of, of intelligent entertainment. Uh, it rang bells for me uh, in that I was one of those you know 400 million people worldwide riveted by the interviews as well, and they meant a lot to me at the time. But that's not why I wanted to direct it. Uh, that was like a residual value to me. It's this really suspenseful, you know, almost like a great courtroom suspense piece. And the characters are so rich and so engrossing and so well written, and, and you know that that's that's what drew me to the piece. And it's a Nixon we never have seen before. Well, it's very easy to take a, a character like Richard Nixon and and um, and and sort of make him you know monodimensional. And of course, he's you know flesh and blood human being. And 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 when I started interviewing his staff members people who had been involved in these interviews, but also people who just had, had worked with them in the years or at the Nixon Library and things like that. There's this ongoing, deep abiding respect and admiration for him for so many virtues. You know, intellect, statesmanship, hard work, um, uh, and, 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 and yet a, a sadness in that his, his character defects his fear, his insecurity, really brought him down and harmed the nation. And what's interesting about him is that, you know, both both aspects of him are true. Just as you look at David Frost, down on the one hand, he was a globe-trotting, you know, social elitist, um, uh, born out of the, you know, comedy world, who was trying to, to, you know, to 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 be a great journalist. And so those paradoxes, I think, are what Peter Morgan identified in the characters originally in these men, and, and, I, and he wrote a great piece that really dramatizes it. And talk about the interview itself and just, you know, just how it echoes a, a, a good sports match. You know, <laughs> having these two teams come together and really trying to get the decisive knock knockout. I think the, 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 the key to creating suspense around around something like this is that you, you have to understand that 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 um, th there there is an unjust an injustice that needs to be corrected and that it means so much to the individuals involved that it's 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 reached a point where it's 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 life or death I think I think you could say both things about the case of the trial of Richard Nixon that that and and um, and I and and I think Peter Morgan identified that in some ways as I was directing the movie, um, I always try to find each film's own style, look, feel, voice. But I did, I did hear some, feel some echoes of, from, weirdly, from Apollo 13. Because with Apollo 13, there was all this behind the scenes drama that no one knew about. And then there's the launch. And then there's the event that people sort of know the outcome of, but they don't know the details. And I felt with this, there was so much you know, human drama, comedy, everything going into just getting to the interviews, that that was going to be surprising for audiences. And I know I was surprised when I saw the play at just how um, suspenseful and engrossing the, the story was.